Hello. I want to show you guys um, a common scam that's going on and has been for a long time with the Apple AirPods and AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, all of those. Um, these third party companies try to mimic them and produce these knockoffs that are not at all the same quality, but looks just like them and stuff or close to the same. Uh, there are some little differences. You'll notice after pairing them to your device and stuff, um, some little either a warning or certain uh, settings aren't there. There is another video I've done of the difference that's things to watch out for. Um, so what I did, I bought these here, which are not original Apple ones. These came from Hong Kong from a supplier that does these knockoff things. And I bought these on purpose to give you guys an example of just what these look like, sealed, new, you know, what I see right off the bat that's not right, you know, just stuff for you to watch out for when you see a sealed box like this. And we're gonna open them, just see what they look like and stuff today. We're not gonna go through the pairing process and stuff. I'm gonna let them charge and stuff, see what they do. Um, they assured me that they are great quality and everything. So yeah, we're going to see on that. All right. So first on the box, I'm going to show you guys. I hope, yeah, you can see this good. They use the real UPC number from Apple. Like this is it. And this here model number, other than that Z before the M, it should be an A, but the it's a certain country thing. I I don't know the specifics on Apple's model numbers or part numbers. I shouldn't say model numbers, part numbers. Um, the model numbers here are all correct, um, all Apple. I haven't looked up that serial number. I bet you if we bought several of these, they'd all have the exact same serial number, probably. That's what I've seen on these. This here, Holly Hill Industrial Estate, Cork, Ireland. That is not on any Apple boxes that I know of. Maybe it is, but I have not seen that before or Apple Distribution International right there. So that's a that's a good sign of these are a scam. Um, a lot of this is all going to read just like an Apple one would. The back looks pretty much just like apples. I don't know. I wish I did have an Apple one here, but I don't. This is an AirPods Pro first generation knockoff too. I didn't say that. Um, so I have had the second generation, but I really haven't had a first generation AirPods Pro before here. So um, another thing to look out for too, see that date 2022? These were produced, I believe, 2019 or 2018 to 2022. So the box usually is not going to have 2022. It's going to have 2018 or 2019. So that's another sign that this is a reproduction, something they use the latest year and stuff. Okay. So yeah, let me get uh, some scissors. Should have had them right here, but I don't. We're going to cut this open. I don't have a knife, of course, so I'm using scissors the wrong way to do this. All right. I will say the wrapping was fairly good. I mean, for what it is. Uh, what I noticed the wrapping was not Apple done. Uh, not really. I mean, it looked pretty good on this, you know. Sometimes you notice that first. Okay, so let's just see what this thing looks like. What do I notice? Looks pretty well original. You can see how the box is. It's actually, you know, just like an Apple box would be pretty much. <clears throat> and a lot of these people who do this stuff came from Apple. They used to work at Apple. In, in China. So there's this. So they know how to make this stuff because they work there. 
and they reproduce some of the same machines. <laughs> so, gonna have a lot of the same material. You know, basically they just get an Apple one from a real Apple box and reprint all this stuff. It's pretty easy for them to do. So that's all that. Nothing else, just the guide there. In, I mean, this here, 20, 2023, okay. That's interesting. That came out later than the box. And so these, I don't know, this don't look original, how this wrap has the line on it like that. I don't think they have that. Um, this here says, Oh, this is interesting. Um, I'm going to take this wrap off so I can read that better. Um, yeah, so let's set that aside. This comes out just like the Apple ones would. <clears throat> of course, this here don't look original. How these are wrapped, you can see the quality of this is not Apple wrapping. I've seen a lot of these cables like this. The lightning to USB-A. Usually C for some of these, but this is an A one. But you can see when it's wrapped like this, low quality, overlapped like that. Uh, that's not Apple original. Nope. They probably will break in no time. All right. These are the earpieces. Almost look original, but... They're probably not at all. They fit in there. That's a little different design, I think. I don't remember, but yeah. There's that. Okay, let's go on and take these out. Okay. Wow, it's like I'm getting real Apple quality here. <laughs> um, so if you read this, designed by Luoda in California. So see, now they're coming to be true here. They're saying, oh, this isn't designed by Apple in California. <laughs> so open that up. They still have a charge. I'm really surprised on that because these things have been sitting. I mean, I bought these a good six months ago and they've been sitting. That, that's surprising right there. And really, I mean, you look at this. I mean, the quality <laughs> isn't too bad. I, I do want to charge these things up and see what they're like. Cause, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to buy stuff like this at all because who knows how long they'll last and stuff. But I'll say the quality of the look of these really looks pretty good, <laughs> um, surprisingly. Now, inside that case lid, let's see here. Shows it the serial number, model number, model number. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, where was that? No, it's on. Yeah, isn't that funny? Look at the model numbers on this box. Those three different model numbers. One for each AirPod, each side, and one for the case. Look at the model number within this case. It's not any of them. Hmm. That's surprising. Not really, but yeah. Um, then I bet even... What do these say? This is 2084 model number on there. 2084. And this one... 2083. 2083. 2084... 2083. They're on here. They're on here. So they used a label. This might be a non-MagSafe model number on here. The 2190. I'm not sure. But they used a 2311 case. Or maybe this is the non-MagSafe wireless charging one. Who knows? Yeah. So... There's obvious signs these are not real, obviously. Especially 
I'm surprised they'd said that, their name or whatever name there, on the back of that case. So that's telling you it's not Apple. But I am surprised. I mean, it's pretty good quality. Usually they'll not open real well or they won't snap back in real well. This is really nice, actually. I'm surprised. So there's that. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. This happens a lot on eBay, um, especially maybe um, Macari, all them marketplaces and stuff. Um, a lot of people, a lot of these scam artists will open these just like I'm doing. I'm not going to resell these. Don't worry. Uh, but they'll open these if they do say or look a lot like Apple stuff or say Apple here and stuff. You can't tell much. They'll get rid of the box and mark them used and sell them used. You know, you won't know the difference, you know, when you buy these things. So that's what you got to watch out for. You just got to be careful. There's a lot of these scams on eBay, especially. Um, so, yeah, just stuff to watch out for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like it if you did. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching today.